just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat as fuck, nigga. You about to talk in my comments. Suck my with your mother's mother's lip, nigga. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And if you haven't, follow my Instagram just in case you missed the post notification on YouTube. You can follow up on Instagram and also go subscribe to my other channel. We'll be putting on co content on that channel very soon. Okay, well, today we're going to speak on the Pop Smoke situation. Initially, I wasn't going to do this, but a lot of my viewers and fans are requesting it. The news done it. A lot of other YouTubers spoke on it, but they want me to speak on it. I guess they want the Brooklyn point of view or, or the real nigga point of view instead of YouTubers that sound like fake ass newscasters. I guess they want to hear the real authentic side of this shit. You feel me? I wasn't going to do this shit though, but... RP Pop Smoke. If you reached this far in the video already, leave a comment. Hashtag RP Pop Smoke. Well, I'm sure many of y'all already know the news that's been going around. The the allegations. Everybody got their little conspiracy theories. Everybody got their assumptions on what happened. Well, I'm gonna post this screenshot right here so you guys can see it right now. Actually, let me move over a little bit so you guys can see it. Post the screenshot right there. Um, as you can see, it's a picture with Pop Smoke and one of his friends, you know? And this picture been circulating. And it's, it's a lot of people say he changed his caption on the picture after the death of Pop Smoke, so they kind of felt suspicious as if he was the one who did it, because after Pop Smoke died, he said, who's in LA? And they feel as if you just lost a friend. Why are you on the social media asking who's in LA when you should be like mourning? But my point of view, I think if, I think he might've been saying who's in LA indirectly saying like, yo, is any of the dogs out here? Cause he wanna let niggas know while Guan, he, I guess niggas trying to spin or get back. For me, that's my perception of it. He could be, he could have been asking who's in LA so that niggas could, you know, niggas could rob, but he didn't want to come out there and put it out there, yo, Pop got shot or he died. Who's in LA, da da da, you know, cause it been kind of hot, you know what I'm saying? That's my perception, it's, it's, it's a possibility. You feel me? Now I'm gonna post another screenshot right here. Um by two 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 G's. Um I'm actually like I gained a lot of respect for him after this post. You know? He said, all beef aside, I feel sorry for boy. This type of stuff is the reason I move with who I move with and move the way we move. Becoming another casualty isn't the plan for any of us. Sleep in peace, homie, to homie. May his family find peace in all of this madness. I mean, if he wrote this, like, I gained a whole lot of respect for him, you feel me? I mean, it don't really sound like something he'll say, but then the grammar in it, Kinda shows that it might be him because I was like bamboozled trying to read it just now. Anyways, but I gained mad respect for him. Like that's some real, that's some real nigga shit for you to put your pride aside and say, yo, you know what? We had our differences and everything, and uh, like I'm willing to send my condolences. That's that's dope. That's a start. You feel me? We need a dead all the all the shit that's going on. Feel me? We dead ass need a dead all the shit that's going on. All this unnecessary beefs because. Only pe only people winning behind this is the, the 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 people at the morgue, the people at the cemetery, and the police that's keep arresting niggas. You feel me? The jail system, we ain't winning. You feel me? Niggas is talking about who's up on the scoreboard and who this that, and the third. At the end of the day, niggas is losing friends, family members, sons, and shit like that. You feel me? To to senseless crime and shit like that, like. 
this post right here, you feel me? Some real nigga shit. Shout out to two two G's, my nigga. All of the little misunderstanding shit we had for the past few weeks, my nigga. That shit is done. You feel me? It gotta start with us. You feel me? It gotta start with people who have a voice to change all this shit. You feel me? I know a lot of niggas gonna be like, oh fuck out of here, this nigga trying to use this pop smoke shit to that beef with this nigga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, at the end of the day, fuck the haters in the comments and all that shit. All the immaturity shit. I mean, niggas is past that. Niggas with eyes to see, see what's going on. You feel me? Real eyes, real eyes of bullshit. So, nigga, I'm on here on some real shit. Nigga, all that shit is done. You feel me? We can move forward. Know what I mean? I'm going to put another picture right here right now. I got this dirty ass dread dude throwing up pitchforks in front of the crib that Pop Smoke died at. I'm not too sure if this was before or after the situation, but I was told that this was before the situation. And the reason why I kind of agree that it might be before the situation is the fact that the house is not taped off with yellow tape and all that stuff in the picture. All right? I'll show you another picture of the same dude in front of the house eating a sandwich. You can tell he's a bozo by by his picture. You're taking a picture, throwing up for... Folk with a sandwich in your hand, like you're lame. Your your life is over. You feel me? You're a cornball that was looking for some recognition or for killing somebody who was successful. You can tell you have no nothing to live for, dirty ass nigga. You feel me? Like you don't got nothing to live for. Taking pictures of sandwiches in front of that shit is crazy, man. That shit is crazy. I'm gonna move on to the next screenshot though, with Pop Smoke and uh, Mikey in the car. They took a screenshot of the video of one of the one of the um people who invaded Pop Smoke's house and he kinda has a resemblance as Mikey if you look at the beard and and the, the nose bridge, the structure of the nose bridge, he kinda you know, even the forehead, he kinda resembles Mikey. I can't say if that is or isn't, you feel me? But I'm sure there's lots of cameras in that neighborhood. Even if they parked their car far away and ran to it, they probably done ran past mad cameras on houses and shit. It's going to see them. You feel me? And then once they, the plates, they get the plates of the car, it's going to trace back. And another thing that a lot of newscasters and um, other YouTubers left out, the fact that it has cameras on the outside. Nobody thought about the house might have cameras on the inside. And the reason why they didn't, Release the footage for the, from the inside is because they don't want to make these people who ran into the house smart. Maybe go on a run. They probably have cameras on the inside of the house that caught footage. And, you know, the, the, the cops is investigating and they didn't release that footage yet. It's possible, you feel me, in a the, in the million dollar house. It's possible, you feel me, that they have cameras on the inside. And especially being in Cali, where they say Cali, a lot of rappers get robbed and stuff like that. I'm sure the house might have some type of camera inside, right? Okay, then there's this other dude. I'm going to post a screenshot right here. There's this other dude. You feel me? He said, Pop Smoke got smoked. I wasn't the shooter. I just gave the Addy. And they took it upon themselves. I'm innocent. As I said before, I didn't know it was going to happen. They did what they had to do. They got rid of dirt to ashes. Huh? They got rid of dirt to ashes. What do you mean by that? Story of story of what happened. Pop Smoke owed somebody. I know money. I gave them the drop on his address from his Instagram story. They decided to pull up and everything went left. Okay, so you basically... Went on the internet admitting that you're an accomplice to murder. You see the thing was going on now? Everybody do it for clout. You went on the internet and admitted that you set someone up, basically. You're a fucking idiot. Stupid. You see, everybody does it for clout and don't understand. Like, my nigga, the clout is here. Clout could ruin your life, son. All right, there's a, there go another post of him. He says, y'all can suck my dick just like that. Fuck. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm not even going to read it. It's too much cursing, and I don't want them to 
like demonetize my video or whatnot, but I'm gonna put it here so y'all can read it yourself while I'm talking. It's gonna be here for a little bit. If y'all wanna pause the video in order to read it, if you haven't seen it on social media, cause it's been floating around. So you'll be able to read it, feel me? And also what I heard is that um, Instagram model has something to do with dropping his Addy to some gang members. Blood gang members. But there's so much things going around. Like, it's here and there. Like, the story's here and there. If I was to put it together, I would look at it. All right, boom. That folk dude that was in front of the crib taking the picture, boom. Okay, that picture obviously was taken before the um the shooting. Because if it was taken after the shooting, it would be yellow tape and everything in front of the house still. Because it's a crime scene, a murder scene. So, therefore... He took that picture before. And what are the chances that someone that's folk just take a picture in front of that house coincidentally? I, I was told that Pop Smoke had a party before he died. So could it be that someone at that party might have gave out info saying that he's at that house, that person went and took a picture, and later on came back? Could, it's possible, right? Feel me? I'm not pointing no picture, pointing no fingers at nobody. I'm not saying nobody did anything. I'm just, you know, trying to figure it out just like everybody else is doing and shit like that. But like I was saying before, though, as far as 22G's and his posts, I commend him for that. And his, his friend, Breezy Blicky, said something that was really ridiculous, too. I'm going to also post his screenshot right here. He says, now niggas got sympathy for the ops. Y'all killed me for real. Right? I think that's corny. Tutu posted. Nas posted. Several other rappers posted. I have it right here also. They posted and showed their condolence. And he's trying to be like super thug out. Like, cut it out. Like, right now is not the time for that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're acting like you and your team went and matched the works. Y'all niggas ain't matched the works. So why you you praising it and claiming it like basically like y'all niggas did it? I understand y'all niggas had y'all differences or whatever. But y'all differences was mostly through rap. I guarantee I could almost bet everything I have that neither one of y'all niggas ran into Pop Smoke in real life before. Neither one of y'all. You feel me? So, and look. Don't quote me because I know a lot of people is going to say, oh, yo, they're going to be saying other people that's associated with him that did meet Pops. I'm talking about the rap niggas. You feel me? I, I can almost bet everything y'all never met him before in real life. So, off of rap beef alone, it's not enough for you to be celebrating a nigga's death. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas just got rap beef. Y'all niggas don't really got no, feel me? Where, yo, Pop Smoke spent your block and hit one of your mans or hit you or did it. It's, it's, it's none of that. It's just click banging. He's Crip. Y'all folk. Y'all rap. You diss each other. Feel me? Rapping is a competition. And who else to compete with but your ops? Well, the opposition based on gang affiliation, I should say, right? Who else to be? Who else to be comp, compete compete with musically? Who else? You feel me? Well, all due respect. You feel me? Pop Smoke was dissing a lot of niggas. He did mention a lot of niggas, but that does not qualify you to say, "Yo, yeah, you smoking on a nigga, bro? How you smoking on a nigga? You ain't you or your means ain't do it, bro? How you smoke? How, how man?" What's going on with niggas, bro? That's like niggas from New York talking about smoking tuca and shit like that. Like, bro, you have nothing to do with that shit. Like, chill out. You feel me? And all your men's in them is humble about it. And you got to be the dickhead. Like, you're super tough, bro. You're not. You're not super tough. I ran into you before. I know your temperature, bro. Maybe when you have a group of niggas with you, or maybe if you have a weapon, you probably, you know, gain a little backbone or something, but we know you're not tough, bro. So, you shouldn't even be trying to really promote, like, the shit you promote, man. RP to that man, and you feel me? Like, 
Now you're going to just bring a whole lot of energy to yourself that you wasn't supposed to bring. You feel what I'm saying? Anyways, like, this shit right here could be the start of everybody, you know, squashing all the shit and putting it into the differences. Like, you feel me? Like, most, most niggas only got beef with each other off of music. You feel me? Most niggas don't really got real beef and shit. It's just... It's just music beef. Y'all niggas just diss each other and shit just because of affiliation. So, niggas, I'm saying, niggas could come together and say, yo, you know what? We gonna dead the beef. I'm not saying that niggas gotta dead the beef and be best friends and pop bottles and smoke weed together and chill together. Niggas could dead the beef and continue moving forward, you feel me? And leave this shit behind. Y'all don't gotta chill with each other. Then they niggas could really dead this shit, bro. I mean, I know it's gonna be a lot of niggas that disagree with me and they're gonna be saying, fuck up, uh, you don't know what you're talking about. It's gonna be the cops in the comment section trying to stir the pot again to make the beef start again because without the beef, they have nothing to do, no one to arrest. You know, shit like that, bro. Stop giving these niggas, stop giving these niggas things to do, bro. Because all they doing is indicting everybody and locking everybody up. Niggas is not winning. You're not winning. How are you going to win? How are you going to win and you coming to the cops and basically telling them to cuff you, bro? You're not winning. It's, it's, it's enough room for niggas, everybody to eat. It's enough room for everybody to eat. If niggas want to compete musically about, you know, other shit, it's cool. But niggas don't have to take it from the music to the street and shit like that. You feel me? I see the shit as if, like... Niggas just wasting their life now, you feel me? We let our pride get. And if you notice I said we because I'm I'm involved in the shit where I be letting my pride get the best of me and shit. So sometimes, you know, niggas gotta I don't know man. I don't even wanna talk too much and make this video super long. But y'all niggas just take my take my foolish advice, you feel me? And dead this shit. Everybody could dead this shit. We don't have to be best friends. But we could dead it. And we could move forward, you feel me? R.P. Pop Smoke, he went from nothing to something. Everybody could go from nothing to something. We don't have to kill each other and put in work on each other to become something. It's not, you feel me? It's not the way to go. Or, it's not the way to go. We just wasting a whole lot of time. You feel me? I think we'll make more money together. But, we don't have to be together. But we can dead this shit and stay free and stay alive. You feel me? But I'm going to end this video here. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know y'all what y'all think about the situation. You feel me? How y'all feel about the situation? Like I said, I wasn't originally going to speak on the situation. But I did it because the fans wanted me to speak on the situation. I would have had a lot more information if I actually wanted to speak on the situation. But, you know, I just, I mean, wanted to put my little two cents in. I mean, make my, my fans happy and shit like that. But... I mean, I hope I ain't miss nothing and shit like that. But anyway, man, leave a comment like I said. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. It's your boy, Upper Class.